what's great about today's notes is that it's really only 5% new. 95% of what we're going to do you have prior experience with, and we're going to see how that is the case as soon as we start getting into some of these practice examples. So number one is talking about this volcano erupting. You guys just finished reading the question to yourselves. Part A says, estimate the, lavas, the lava fragments maximum height above the ground. If I look at this graph, where does that happen? Where is it reaching at that height? At the top, very good. So let's actually plot a point right there at the top. And part A asks us to estimate. What does estimate mean? Yes, guess. Very good, an educated guess. Can we get an educated guess on where that's happening? What ordered pair? Oh, let's start with the next value. 12. 12? Comma what? 1,800. And we're going to put a question mark because this is a guess. Now it says, how, what's the meaning of it? Estimate the lava's maximum height and how long will it take for that to happen? So how do you interpret that ordered pair? Good. At 12 seconds, lava reaches, right with, right with me, lava reaches. Maximum height of what? Of 1,800 feet. Again, put a question mark because this is an educated guess. I know that you don't have a, this B question in your workbook, but we're going to answer it underneath the graph. It says, how how did you get this? Where did you look? Looked for what? What point? Very good. You're looking for the vertex. That highest point is the vertex. This is your B question, correct? Right. What does recall mean? To look back. To look back, meaning is this something you already know how to do? Yes. So let's see. It's estimated the lava has initial vertical velocity. Ooh, that sounds familiar. 350 feet per second, write the model for the height, h of t in feet, of the lava t seconds after it's left the ground. So off to the side, let's define variables. What does t represent? Number of seconds, good. And what's h of t? The height in feet. Height in feet. Is this something that we know how to do? Yeah. Yes. What kind of model is this? Velocity, fantastic. Let's get our general velocity model on the paper. H of t equals what? Good. As I hear the pieces, I'm going to write it down. Negative 16t squared. Somebody else, what comes next? V naught t, great job. Plus, careful, h naught. Awesome. Let's start filling in the model. So h of t equals the negative 16t squared stays. Who's got the velocity? Great. So 350t. What's the initial height? Where's this? Good. Zero. Why? Because where's the lava leaving from? Ground. The ground. So if you want to write plus zero, you can. So I'm going to stop it right there. And I'll, I will make a little note for myself here. H naught equals zero because, write with me, the lava starts at the ground. I don't want you to think we just left it out. We've made an educated guess about how high, but do we have math that we can use to figure out exactly how high? Yes. yes. We're going to calculate the what? Vertex. So off to the side, please draw yourself a quick little sketch. This is our lava. Where is that vertex located again? At the top. And please highlight that, or if you have a different color pen, make that very obvious. And off to the right side, I want you to write how high in capital letters. Don't write it huge, but write it so you can see it, and put it in a box. So whenever you're asked maximum height, what's the maximum height that it'll reach? We are always being asked to calculate the what? Vertex. Vertex. 
Is that something we know how to do? Yes, yes it is. So make yourself a note under maximum height. That means calculate. And again, write small. Calculate vertex. Do I have a model to use? Do I have value? Yeah, this one right here. Who can tell me? How do I calculate the vertex? Is it B, negative B. Negative B. Over two A. Good job. Someone else. Let's fill that in. What am I going to write? Negative 350. Good. Negative 350 divided by 2 times. Negative 16. Nice job paying attention to those signs. If at any point you drop a sign by accident, no bueno. It's going to come out wrong. So this gets me negative 350 divided by negative 32. Let's get our calculators out. We can ignore the negatives because we know in our own brains that a negative divided by a negative is positive. So in your calculators, 350 divided by 32. If you need to borrow one, you can grab a yellow calculator from the window. We do get 10.94. What's the unit on this? What did you actually just find out? The time. But uh, do I write 10.94 times? 10.94 seconds. Very good. Let's figure out which question we just answered. This one says, what was the lava's maximum height? Did you just find maximum height? No. no. But the second part said, how long does it take for the lava to reach that height? Did you answer that question? Yes. We still have this other question to answer. So how are you going to do that? We're going to plug it in. What are we going to plug it into? H of T. Good. So H of 10.94. Do we know how to do that? Yes. So that's going to be negative 16 times 10.94 raised to what power? Good. The second power plus 350 times 10.94. Once you have that set up, this is purely a calculator exercise. Let's let the calculator do all the heavy lifting on that. Let me know what you get for negative 16 times 10.94 squared. Or are you just putting it in all at the same time? For those of us doing it in pieces, I get negative 1,914.94 plus, and then those of you doing it in two parts, what's 350 times 10.94? Good job. 3,829. I add those together, and what do we get? Oh, 1,000. I got 1,914. Good. 0.06. And what's the label on this? Feet. Good. Height measured in feet. If you, the person sitting next to you didn't get that, go ahead and check in with them. I'm going to shift this over a little bit. How do we do? Raise your hand if your work matches mine. Awesome. Go ahead and read the next part, and we're going to compare and contrast what you were asked to do and see if we can figure out what's different about that question. Well, I have fun rearranging this work. Oops. What's different about part E? Or, well, what part is that for you guys? Let me fix that. Are you being asked any more about how high? No. So let's draw a picture again, and the picture is going to help us figure out what we're being asked for here. You do need to write small for this to fit. If you need extra line paper, I have some right there. Instead of looking for the vertex, what point on the graph am I looking for right now? 
Say that again. First and last. Very good. Where it started, which I know is zero, but do you know this? We can make an estimated guess, somewhere around 22-ish, but that's a guess. How are we going to calculate it? A hint is in the direction. Oh, look at that. So this comes from, if I'm asked when it hits the ground, what am I going to set my equation equal to? So set it equal to zero and quadratic formula. Do we know how to do that? Yes. So highlight that point. Whenever you're asked how long until it hits the ground, or what I will summarize as saying how far. So off to the side, I'm going to write how far. How far, how long till it hits the ground, that will always be quadratic formula. We're going to set our equation equal to zero. So zero equals what? What's our model say? Negative 16 t squared plus, write with me, folks. Negative 16 t squared plus what? 350t plus, what's our C value? Zero. Good. For the purpose of helping us see the ABC here, I will write plus zero. And if it helps, label this A, B, C. Yes, this says, I highlighted this point where on the X axis and I said, comes from the equals zero part is right here, setting it equal to zero. And QF, quadratic formula. Uh, Go ahead and run the quadratic formula on this. Um, A is negative 16. B is 350. And we're going to use C equals zero. Go for it. And when you're ready, check answers with a neighbor. Ooh, let's go over it. Who can remind us quadratic formula? Negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus. There you go. If you don't have room to write that down and you want a sticky note to write it on, I have sticky notes here. Who wants a sticky note? Let's go. Run it through the quadratic formula. That's not new knowledge. That's prior knowledge. Last call for sticky notes. Welcome. So whenever we're asked how far or how long till it hits the ground, we're going to be using what? Quadratic, Quadratic formula. Very good. Let's do it. You're welcome. Sticky note. Let's go for the quadratic formula. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. As soon as you're done, you can check with me. We shouldn't have to look up. Like from this point, you should be able to actually finish this by yourself. Quadratic formula is prior knowledge. Go, go for it, all the way to the end. The question was just set it up or keep going, and we're going to keep going.
The fact that C is zero makes something nice happen. Good, that's going to be under the square root, yep. Okay. Real world's got big numbers, got messy numbers, has decimals. Just because you get a big number doesn't mean it's wrong. By the time you get back, I'll be on the next one. What did you guys get for your answers? Put this over there. And you're working. Okay, you already have that on. If you want to put that on, it's fine, but I need to see you working. Did you get zero for one of them? Yeah. Cool, me too. What are we getting for our second answer? Oh, thanks, sorry. What'd you get? Good. Is it eight seven twenty one point eight seven five? So then that becomes twenty one point eight eight. Yeah, we'll round to two or three decimal places. So what's the answer to our question? Twenty one point eight eight seconds. Very good. So this is today's new learning, knowing, being able to make an educated choice about is the real world question asking me to calculate how high or how far, how high or how long. Let's practice with our next example. There's a little typo in the how the workbook was printed. Um, you guys have, oh, I haven't gotten to that yet. Never mind. All right, number two, path of a diver. Would you believe me if I told you there's actually no math involved on this one? No. Possible. Read the question and see if you can figure out why I'm saying that. It gave us what form? Vertex form. Make a note. Given vertex form. Why is that super helpful to us? What's this question asking you? It says vertex? I don't see vertex here. What does it say? What does the question say? As soon as I see maximum height, that tells me I'm looking for what? If I'm asked how high. What are we going to calculate if we're asked how high? What it starts with a V, guys? Vertex. No, it's at the bottom. Look at the bottom, guys. It's there. Oh, the question got cut off. Okay, so thank you for showing me. <laughs> So add in the little question, what's the maximum height? It's just a misprint. We can rise above it. How are we going to answer that question? What is the maximum height? Um, four. 4, comma 14. Great job pulling out the vertex. Where does she get 4, comma 14? Um, exactly. H and K. So let's highlight that. Where's H? Good. And where's K? 
Good. And label it. Don't just highlight it. Label H K. So the question was about why is it a positive four? So the general the general vertex form A times X minus H squared plus K. So that negative is built in. So if I see X minus four, a positive four was plugged in for H. If I had seen a positive four here, then a negative got plugged in. That just comes with practice and really making sure we, we memorize that formula. But I'm only asked what's the maximum height. So which part of this ordered pair actually answers that question? The four or the 14? Who votes four? Who votes 14? Let's try that again. Only three people have participated in this vote. Does the four answer the question or does the 14 answer the question? Who says four? Who says 14? Fourteen. Fourteen. Because what does the four represent? Good. So if it helps, let's add a little label underneath. This is four seconds, 14 feet. So the maximum height of the diver is what? 14 feet. 14 feet. No math involved on that question. Purely a, do I understand how to pull the vertex out? Yes, we do. You're writing that at the bottom of that first page. I understand there's a little bit of a mix-up with the, how it's printed. Is our next question the same? Let's see. Okay, that's where I want you to cross out. So at the, next, the top of the next page, if there's an A question, just cross that out. And join me, please, on B. This same function can be written in standard form. Here we have our equation. How many seconds does it take the diver to hit the water? Is this how high or how far? How far. Very good. Write that down on the side. How far? Because this is a how far question, I know I'm going to use what? Um. What calculation? Quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. So we're going to set this equal to zero. Zero equals negative 0 0.4x squared plus 3.2x plus 7.6. Can I use the quadratic formula? Yes. We can add ourselves a little picture on the side. Here's her path in the water. She's starting at a diving board. What point am I finding right now? If I were to draw it on this graph, where is it? Up here or down here? Right. Good job. Plot it, circle it, label that water. And what calculation are we going to use again? What formula? QF. Quadratic formula. When you're ready, let's do it. Quadratic formula, that's prior knowledge. You know how to do that. Go for it. Use your sticky note to help you. Water. The highlighted part says water and QF, quadratic formula. You're welcome. So we've got A is negative 0 0.4. Oops. B is 3.2, and C is 
If you need a little help setting it up, I put the setup up there, but from here, see if you can do it solo. Take your time, watch those decimal places. If 3.2 becomes 32, it's all going to go bad. Well, it keeps happening to me. Smart board's losing its mind. Come on, really? Seriously, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> it's my artistic solution to this problem. All right, guys, I'm not sure what's up right now, but the Moby is not our friend. So continue working on your solution. I'm going to freeze the screen, and I'll pull up my solution from B period, and we'll compare answers, okay? So keep going. When you're ready, compare with the neighbor. I'm going to freeze this, pause the note video, and I'll come back with the answer for you. Yep. If when you're done is when just about everybody else is done, yes. Are you are your answers matching with each other? Yes, divide. Are we ready to compare answers? No. Close? We're done? No. I hear chit chat. Huh? Two or three decimal places would be good. We ready? No. Okay. I'm ready to run. Who's ready? That's almost. Okay, cool. So let me unfreeze the screen. Do our answers match? Fantastic. Raise your hand if we match. Who's close? That's almost half who match. But who's close? Do we do we need help figuring out what happened? Mm. Okay. Now, I don't have the ability to write right now. The last number that is technically part of our notes is number three. So go ahead and read number three. And before I show you how to start, I want you to tell me, is this a how high or a how far? So read number three. Read number three to yourself, please. You tell me, how high or how far? How high? How do we know that it's a how high question? Circle that. 
circle, very good. Circle where it says maximum height and write vertex next to it. Do we have an a given equation? Yes. So I'm going to freeze the screen for a second. And I'm actually going to cut and paste if I can. Success. Here's the picture. Calculate the vertex, and then we'll compare answers. So in our picture, I'm just clarifying for you that it tells us x is horizontal distance, meaning like if you stood at the edge of the tunnel and you walked into the tunnel, that's your horizontal distance. And then vertical distance is in the air, right? Calculate your vertex. As he said, can he abbreviate that? That's fine, as long as you know what you're saying. Okay, let's go. Vertex. What's the calculation for vertex again? Negative B divided by 2A. Yes. Okay. Negative B divided by 2A. Shouldn't take us too long. This one, I got seven, and I don't know how the heck I got it. And that's not even close to 10 what it's point supposed to be. 12, this 22.4 is right. Yeah. I think maybe you squared, I don't know if you squared, I don't know. Try Do the square root of 22.4 again. Okay. You should get 4.73. Okay. Are we ready to compare answers? Yes. What did you guys get for the x value of the vertex? Who got 13? Awesome. And what are you going to do with 13? Plug it in. Okay. Plug it in. Isn't this great? Love being able to just hide it from you. Come on, hurry up. Plug it in. So I checked the answers that we got 13 for the horizontal distance. So that means literally if you stood at the sidewall, of the tunnel and you walked in 13 feet, you would be where in the tunnel? In the middle. In the middle, but now you want to know how high, so plug it in. When we have it, I'll put this back up. Let me know what you got. Are we matching? No. So if our calculation doesn't match, see if you can figure out what happened in your calculator or show me. Did anybody get 16? Who got 16? Couple? Good. That's two, three more. Some people, I think, just need an extra second. So if we don't match exactly, let's see if we can fix, figure out what happened and adjust. Numbers. Four, five, and six are homework. I want to just take a look at number four with you really quick. Can you read number four? And I'm interested in knowing what does that graph look like. So read it. Read it. Open up your workbook because, again, the, it, it shifted a little bit. The question is at the bottom, but A, B, and C are on the next page. So question four is at the bottom, and then A, B, C is on the next page.
what does this function look like and how do you know? It does open up. So please sketch that picture next to number four. Very good. It opens up. How does she know that it opens up? Right. So when you're asked for a minimum, you're still, it's asking, excuse me, to find the vertex and the minimum. So minimum and vertex in this case are the same point. It's a maximum if the graph opens down and a minimum if the graph opens up. Very good. So for A and A, B, and C all deal with vertex. So only three questions. You can get started right now. Nice job. These notes will be on Google Classroom. And if any of your calculations from the previous ones didn't work out, go ahead and bring up your work right now, and I'll take a look. Great job today.